Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Downshift. My name is Orist, and today is very exciting again because as you can see, there are four boxes right there. And uh, I'm pretty sure you can guess what it is. It's wheels. It's really time to change these guys. I'm gonna go do that today. I'm gonna unbox them now, so stay tuned. Okay, so these Braylon alloys are what is replacing the stock wheels. As you can see, I've already blacked out the car, so the wheels don't really match. Silver on silver does not work. They're not concave either, as you can tell. There's a bit of curb rash from the previous owner also. So it's kind of time to grow up and get my big boy wheels. And on top of that, these wheels are heavy. These are like 28 or 29 pounds a corner, while these are like 23.8. And we're gonna confirm that at the shop, so don't worry. Um, you know what? So let's just go ahead and unwrap these. Moment of truth to see if I got the right wheels. Let's hope we're right. Okay, nice and easy. What a tease. Come on, come on. I took them out of the box because this is gonna be much easier. Uh, looks like we've got some bolts here, so I'll take a look at that. Uh, here we go. Let's see, okay, that's pretty easy. Ready? Wow. Dude, that is incredible. Look how concave those are. Oh my goodness. Matte graphite. Oh yes, I love it. I am so excited right now. Woo! Guys, if you are interested in these stunning wheels, here are the specs. So 19 by nine and a half, five by 112 bolt pattern and 25 millimeter offset. These are by Braylon. And uh, I was very curious about what was in the box. So they sent different lugs because it's a different lug seat. I believe it's a cone versus Audi might use a square. So they have to send you these. And look at that, they sent me one of these. Very nice of them. So just before we go to the shop, I wanna take a brief moment to thank Braylon for giving me such a sick deal on these wheels. They are honestly so nice and they're not even on the car yet. So you know what, let's pack them up and let's go do that. So we're currently en route to swap the wheels. Look at that, they all fit. Don't you love it? Another reason why I got this car. Check this out. Yo, that stage one's still kicking. Oh man, love it. All right guys, we're here at the shop. Car is lifted, wheels are coming off. Oh, this is gonna be so good, so excited. So this is just the side profile here, as you guys can see, just to get an idea before and after. 24.1. All right, guys, 24, yeah, let's say 24. Yep. Nice. And here is the OEM wheel, about 28.529. That is heavy. What a difference. All right, guys, so there we have it. The car is done. Look at this transformation. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. This is exactly what the car needed. Oh yeah, just need to lower this a little bit and we'll be good to go. Riding high right now. All right, so we're back in the car because it's like 40 degrees outside and I thought I would change the scenery a bit. So the wheels are on the car, absolutely love them. It looks like a prom queen already. The only thing is those springs. We have to get this car lowered because it's riding way too high right now. It actually looks even more exaggerated because the wheels poke out a little bit and the tires are stretched. So it kind of looks like a four by four, but we're gonna take care of that and uh, we're gonna go from there. Okay, so visually, this is probably the most drastic thing I've done. Look at the grill. Look at the wheels. Look at this. Just changes the look of the car so much. Let's look at the back end here. Oh, that is crazy. Yeah, this is absolutely perfect. Look at those. With the red peeking through. All I gotta do is lower it and we are ready. Okay, I'm underground and I really wanted to get a different lighting situation. In every lighting that I go into, this looks fantastic. Oh man, with the red and the black. Oh guys, come on. I really wanted to see what this thing sounds like. I know this is a wheel video, but come on, how could you not, right? <laughs> oh man, that blow off. Oh man, that is insane. 
look at it from this angle wow that is nuts i couldn't have asked for more honestly i'm on a rooftop now it might be a little bright but oh man look at it here wow so it's perfect the color is great the offset everything is amazing the only thing that worries me now is because it sticks out a little bit i am so afraid of curbs so hopefully i get over that fear because we have a lot left to do with this car we're gonna have to get some nice b-roll for you guys So I'm back after capturing some B-roll footage of this vehicle for this video, so I do hope you appreciate that little touch. I wanted to say that I've had this car for over a day now. I've done 100 kilometers, so I've just retorqued the bolts to spec because you have to do that. And every time I walk away from the car, I'm constantly finding myself looking back going, wow, I really made the right move. The car is completely my own now. With that said, I wanted to thank Braylon for giving me such a good deal on these. The link will be in the description below. I also wanted to thank Steve at 1010 Tires for booking me in so quickly to put these on. Finally, I wanted to thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give us a like. If you want to see more content like this, then also consider subscribing. And finally, comment. Let me know what you guys think of this. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What else would you have done differently? And what else would you add to the build in the future? With that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.